Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze again the Bitcoin price and compare it to the DXY. And we're going to also have a check on the CME gap that we have down to $11,100 and we're going to have a look if that gap is now filled or not. But before we start, remember that currently on Bybit we have this special extra bonus that is going on through the whole month of October. If you put a deposit of at least 0.1 Bitcoin, you can get up to $180 additional bonuses next to the normal reward sub. You just have to put this voucher code Alessandro the Crypto in the Bybit rewards hub. And also next to this extra bonus, currently Bybit is giving to you $10 if you refer a friend. So if you have some friends that also wants to trade Bitcoin with a leverage, for example, here on Bybit, you can share your own referral link. If you sign up with my link that you find down below here in the video description, you can get extra $10 if you successfully refer a friend. So definitely take advantage of this big opportunity that Bybit is giving to you right now. And if you're trading on Femex, currently there is this uh, trading competition going on. You can still sign up also to my team. You find the link down below here in the video description. And if you're anyway trading on Femex or you want to trade on Femex, you also find the sign up link down below here in the video description. With my link, you can get $80 completely for free sign up bonus. So definitely go and check it out if you're interested because during this event, you will profit from less trading fees and also you can win up to 100 Bitcoin depending how many people are participating here to the event. And now my friends, let's start with the content and we begin here with this uh, one hour time frame because this is looking a bit bearish in my opinion. It looks like that after this run up that we had yesterday and with this lower low that we created, so we didn't manage to take out this high here at 11,740. So we created a lower high here and immediately afterwards we have seen a quite major dump here towards $11,200 and to clear it up, right now I still think we are not feeling this gap yet so it is looking like that we're coming down to completely fill this gap down to $11,100 but if we are losing now this $11,200 support I think we will most likely not only go here towards $11,100 but most likely towards $10,800 this is my next bearish target if we see continuation here to the downside so whenever you're not sure if the gap is filled or not most of the times that means that it's not completely filled field because we need a clear gap filling here in order to say yes it's filled now and we can start to look again to trade higher for example here in this case but if you're not sure if a gap is filled and most of the times that means that the gap is not yet filled and this is also what I think at the moment and you can see that currently we are building up this nice support here at $11,200 but with these lower highs that we're creating it looks like that here in the one hour we could be in a potential descending triangle which in case of a breakout to the downside will take us straight down here towards $10,800 this is my next target to be reached in case of a breakout here to the downside and I still think this is very likely to happen within maybe today or maybe during the weekend let's see but currently it looks like that the one hour is turning back bearish and there is even a chance that here we could create a potential head and shoulders pattern and in that case the target would be also down here at $10,800. I think if we're gonna have a breakout here to the upside to take out here this high at 11,600 and also this one here at 11,700 then I think this is denied and we will see potentially a big rise towards $14,000 coming up pretty soon but as long as we're staying within this pattern I think we're gonna jump up and down here before we're gonna see a clear breakout in my opinion potentially to the downside and although if you have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are trading here on the bearish side all the indicators are shifted to the downside right now and if we have a look into the DXY here the DXY currently is also looking even similar to Bitcoin is also dumping a bit here so this is going to be very interesting what will happen here in the next couple of hours and days of course but the DXY is keeping up here in this channel and as long as we're not seeing a breakout here to the upside or to the downside potentially we're going to continue to trade sideways here 
And now let's open up the four hour time frame in the Bitcoin price. Here again, you can see this clear descending triangle, which in my opinion will most likely break out to the downside, unless we're gonna take out this high that we had over here at $11,600. RSI starting to trade now below the 50 level. So that is bearish, of course. And also if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see that we're squeezing in this tiny channel and we're gonna see a big breakout pretty soon, potentially to the downside since we are now trading here on the lower end so even if we see a pump in theory 11,400 will be our new resistance also all the indicators are shifted to the downside so in my opinion we're gonna most likely see a red day today unless we are going really to break out from this resistance that we have currently even up here at $11,600 because the $11,400 resistance is there where we have the 20 moving average right here at $11,400 so if you want to open up a short position then maybe we'll wait for a test here of $11,400 or maybe for another confirmation Information that this $11,600 or $11,500 is now the new resistance. And of course, you can also do a breakout trade here. So in case that we're gonna go below $11,200, you can go in with a market order. So you can short it down towards $10,800. But also if here we are going to break out to the upside from this $11,600 resistance, then you can go in with a market order and go long. But if you want to trade the safe way, I would wait for a good long position so maybe wait in case here of a play out to the downside to scale in some longs here at $10,800 because the Bitcoin is still looking very bullish for the long term and that's why you should still be looking for good long opportunities. These shorts are quite risky in my opinion but of course if you want to scalp trade a bit right now there could be a nice trading opportunity getting set it up here. And we can also have a look into the DXY here in the four hour because currently we're trading above all the moving averages. And in theory, we should have a big support here at this 9360 level where also the 20 moving average is lining up. Here I'm getting a sell signal and also the RSI shifted to the downside. So potentially right now we will see a, a little correction here at least towards here the support of this 9360 incoming. And now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up the daily time frame because the daily time frame, in my opinion, is also starting to look a bit bearish. We got here now a sell signal, which is still not confirmed. So here we could be in for a major correction, at least towards this $10,800. I'm afraid that maybe we will see even a breakout to the downside from this major channel that we are in currently and in that case we will most likely test here this old resistance which now is the new support currently at $9,000 if we are not able to bounce from $10,800 because here in the daily time frame we are not really overbought right now in the opposite we are having this healthy correction but the problem is if here the 20 and 50 daily moving average are not holding as a support and we will not see a big bounce here potentially towards $13,800 there is a high risk that we could lose here this support and also test here the 200 daily moving average at 9700 or maybe even have a week below towards 9k because we're having now this sell signal and also remember that we have this hidden bearish divergence so we have here a lower high in the price and here you can see in the RSI that we have a higher high so that is a uh, hidden bearish divergence and that could be very dangerous here in case that we're going to see a major sell-off at least towards 10,800 and even below so if you want to take a big short position then maybe wait here for the breakout here to the downside from this 10,800 dollar support because there potentially we could go at least towards 9,700 to 9k and at the other hand if you don't want to short bitcoin then wait for a potential play out of this scenario and scale in longs if we we are reaching this area down here at around 9k because that is the potential bottom here in case of a breakout here to the downside of course we then also have to wait till we're gonna see again bullish signs all in the lower time frames in order to say okay that was the bottom and we can go all in again but I think most likely this is gonna be the bearish scenario if we're gonna lose here the support of $10,800 and if we are not gonna see a big bounce from it towards $13,800 because in order to keep up with this channel, we have to create higher lows 
and higher highs and so far we didn't manage to take out these highs that we had here not even at 12k so things could start to look a bit bearish here in the daily even though there are still very high chances that we will see a big bounce here from 10,800 and we will not see that correction down to those levels incoming here in the next couple of days or weeks but since here I got now a sell signal in the daily which at the moment is not confirmed I think this is going to be very interesting what will happen here in the next couple of days and even if we go over into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently there is a high chance that we could lose here this first moving average and we could retrace down here at least towards the middle line of $11,000 to also close the first CME gap and then potentially if we are not holding here this 11k even fall towards 10,260 and if we're coming that low I think it is almost guaranteed that we will also go towards 9k because $10,800 currently is the most important support to hold in case of a little correction now towards 11,100 to close the CME gap and there is also where we should see a big bounce from it because we have also MACD and KSD still shifted to the upside which is bullish stochastic now is overbought and shifted to the downside so correction is likely but if we have a major correction below $10,800 this will lead into a major correction in my opinion towards 9,700 to 9k potentially also to close the CME gap that we still have at $9,600 and if we have a look here in the DXY in the daily you can see that we got the opposite and unconfirmed buy signal currently and although we are bouncing from the 20 daily moving average so if the DXY is able to break out from this resistance of $94 then be prepared to see a possible test here of the 200 daily moving average at $97 in the DXY and this could lead into a big crash in the stock market and also in the Bitcoin price at least for the short to mid term. And now let's have a final look into the weekly time frame here in the Bitcoin price because this is still looking very, very bullish, even though we could see a, maybe a last little sell off towards one of the supports down here at around 9K. But all in all, Bitcoin is still looking very bullish here in the weekly and we should look here to test the all time highs of 20K pretty soon maybe within this year latest next year but this will come for sure looking here in the weekly time frame everything is still looking so great and we are right at the beginning here of a major major big bull run here in the bitcoin price and since we broke out here from this important resistance here of 10k and also we are post halving you should definitely consider to buy every dip that bitcoin is doing for the long term you will be very grateful if you will do so from now on and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe here to the channel leave a like leave me also any kind of comment you want and make sure to use the links down below here if you want to trade bitcoin and other assets or if you are new in the crypto space use swiss pork and also coinbase to buy cryptos with your bank account you find the sign up links down below here in the video description with my links you will get also some extra bonus some extra money that you can use to buy even more cryptos if you put the first deposit of course so thank you very much my friends for your support and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye